Um, I was at Tunbridge Angels yesterday and one of the fans came up to me. He's a fan who's really passionate about something we used to have at the club that we've lost. We used to have cheesy chips. In fact, my nickname for him was Cheesy Chips. And he came up to me yesterday and he said, um, I've been watching your little talk show things that you do. And there's a few people now at the club that really want cheesy chips again. Can you fit it into one of your talks to kind of get the momentum building? I'm not pro the cheesy chips. I want to make that clear as the chat then. but. He is. I said to him, we could give you a title, you could be Chief Chip, and he loved that. But he sees it as um, his right, his privilege. I should be able to come to the club and I should be able to have cheesy chips. We've all got privileges, haven't we, that we expect. Privilege is something that's unearned, maybe even unacknowledged, that makes our life better. The thing with that is, it can make other people's lives worse and we may not even be aware of it. As a white middle-aged man, I have a lot of privilege that I maybe don't even recognise or acknowledge. How does that affect other people in life? Jesus wasn't one for privilege. He, outside of time, before creation was in the heavenlies. He, when the world was created, as we read of in that Genesis ancient story and poem, was still there in the heavenlies being worshipped by the angels that was his privilege but he stepped out of time or rather stepped into time and became a human being and he put all those privileges to one side there's an ancient hymn probably one of the oldest christian hymns in philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11 where it says that jesus emptied himself of all his godly powers. The emptied there in the Greek, the original language, is literally a jug with water in, pouring it all out and it being completely emptied. Jesus gave up knowing everything. Don't you think that's weird? He went from knowing everything to having to learn. He wouldn't have walked into an exam just because he was the son of God and got 100%. He had to learn how to tie his shoelaces. He had to learn how to walk. He had to learn how to read and to write. All of those things that we as human beings have to learn to do. He went from all knowing to learning. He went from being everywhere outside of time to somewhere, a backwater village in Israel, an occupied territory with a manic force called the Romans who were trying to keep them under control from everywhere to somewhere. He went from being all powerful to reliant. He had to rely on God's Holy Spirit to give him the strength and power to do what he was going to do. And he went from being worshipped to being murdered and dying on a cross. Jesus went from privilege to sacrifice. And Paul, at the start of that ancient hymn, that ancient song, says, your attitude, your orientation should be the same as that of Jesus. I think to live a good life, a godly life, is to live a life not of privilege, but a life that has a bit more whiff of sacrifice about it. When we live like that, we might not get cheesy chips, but we might see the blossom springs of hope begin to flower around us through our good works. Take care. Please pray for Ukraine.